It's good to see all of you. Welcome. And this is a day to celebrate. I was talking to Esther just before the service. Esther. And she was telling me how this morning she had some time with the Lord. Thinking back to the time when there was no liberty to worship. And just thanking the Lord for today. And what a day when we can come together to worship the Lord without any fear, freely, and together. So many of us take that for granted. Uh, me included. Um, but this is truly a day to celebrate. Um, we will begin with um, a song that is <coughs> new to us in the church. But many of you know this and will recognize it. Because it is written in Estonian. And the words for those who um, don't speak Estonian, uh, really, let me uh, just um, translate it into English. Uh, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Holy is, the, is God Almighty. The heavens and earth are filled with his glory. Hosanna in the highest. I'd like for us to sing this together as worship to the Lord. This has been sung by thousands of choir members at, yeah, at the Laulupidu. But this is really worship to the Lord. So let's, let's sing that together. <coughs>
spiritual awakening, Lord. will change this nation. Muda to bring us closer to you. Ja toob meid lähemale sulle. That you would make this nation a light in the world. Et see riik võiks saada valguseks that your spirit maailmas. would flow in Et a sinu vaim võiks liikuda that your church would be established. Build your kingdom, O God. Be glorified, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Almighty God. Hallelujah! 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 The Lord with me. Join in with us. Ja ma palusin, et Let's praise God together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.
And yes, you may be seated. He was there for a long time. Amen. God bless you. So good to see everyone today. Amen. You want to Amen. Amen. Praise God. And uh, on this uh, Independence Day, God has blessed Estonia with 101 years of independence ja since jälle, this first period of independence. And, uh, and I'll say a few more things about this in a few minutes. Ja ma <laughs> but spiritually, Aga vaimulikult, uh, more importantly, God has set us free Jumal on meid vabaks pääsma, not to be independent to do what we want mitte in the spirit, ise seismalt vaimus teeksime, mida but ise free tahame, from the penalty of sin. Aga vabaks päästetuna patu free from the power of sin. Ja vabaks patu and on this Estonian Independence Day, ja Eesti ise I just want to give God thanks for setting us free. Ma tahan anda, et Jumalale, et ta meid vabaks Ali, would you just lift your hands one more time with me? Ja ma käed, and let's give thanks to the Lord for freedom in the Spirit. Eest, thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done in our lives. Eest, you came from the everlasting to this world where we live. Hallelujah, you lived and died and rose again. You are king, the king eternal. And we bless you today. Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. I feel a celebration in my heart. I love uh, I love national days. I remember them in South Korea. I've been to a few in Norway. I've been to a couple in America. And uh, here in Estonia. And whether you uh, were cold watching the parade in person. Or maybe you watched it in uh, in Warp while you ate your uh, lunch. <laughs> I feel a little festive today. And it's so good to see everyone. A couple of announcements. On uh, Wednesday at 6.30 uh, we have a Bible study. Uh, this week I will be teaching on the topic of the local church. We'll have some time of prayer. And uh, the following week I'll continue teaching about the lifestyle of a Christian. And uh, so please join me as we study the Word of God together and how it has practical benefits in our personal lives. Amen. Aren't you glad that the Bible is not just a history book? But the New Testament describes it as living and powerful. It goes right to your heart. Praise God. Praise God. Two years ago today, God miraculously filled our oldest son Christopher with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And if you don't know what that means, in the second book or the second chapter of the book of Acts, the apostles experienced this first baptism. And Christopher experienced not the final, but uh, but his own baptism in the Holy Spirit. Two thousand years later, as the power of God came on him, and he began to speak in other tongues as a sign of the Holy Spirit baptism. It was his own personal independence day. And so uh, he was born again of the water and of the Spirit. I uh, had the privilege to baptize my own son in the water. And so this day will always be special for our family. <laughs> Praise God. I want to have you turn with me, if you would, to the uh, book of Psalms. Psalms chapter number 
Et kui sa saad siis avagus minuga psalmide raamat peadük. If you have a Bible you can turn there or you can just follow on the screen. Thank you Anthony. Peadük 73 psalm 2. And uh, uh, the psalmist is writing about difficulties in his life. Ja psalmist räägib raskustest oma elus. And, uh, and he says, but as for me, my feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped. Uh, those of you that uh, are here today have braved the slippery ice. I'm so sorry about the ice. I hope that this is not a problem next winter. We're going to do whatever we can. And Christopher finished up the last of the gravel today. I remember when my parents and I lived in Moscow. Ma mäletan aega, kui ma elasin kus vanemate ja vaatkus. Oli 1993. Ja me käisime poes, ostisime palju piima. Ma olin umbes 16-17 aastat vana. So guess who carried the heavy load? Ja kujuta ette arva ära, kes kandis seda raske poole. It was in the winter time. See oli talvel. We were coming back from the metro. Me tulime välja metros. And we were approaching our big apartment building. Ning jõudsime lähemale oma suurele korter. When I found it. Kui ma leidsin. I found the perfect ice. Täiusliku jää. It was black. See oli must. It was invisible. Nähtamatu. And it was extremely slippery. Ja äärmiselt. I never saw such good ice in my life. Ma kunagi elus nii hea jääd näin. In fact, I didn't see it. That was the problem. Tegelikult probleem oli selles, et ma ei näinud see jääd. And my dad couldn't help. Ja ma isa ei saanud aidata. Laughing. Pidamast naeru. Because as he tells the story later. Sest kui ta seda jõugu on jutustanud hiljem. He watched as I hit the ice. Ta nägi peal, kuidas ma läksin jääle. And my eyes got big. Ja mu silmad läksid suureks. And I started to go like this. Ja ma hakkasin vibastuma. Like I was trying to start a motorcycle. Ja ma see nägi välja umbes, nagu üritaksin mootoratast käida. I almost got it. Ja peal, kui jäi püsti. And then I went. Ja siis kukkusi. And fortunately the milk was okay. Õnneks piimaga midagi ei juhtunud. I don't know if the eggs made it. Ma ei tea, kas munad terveks jäi. Maybe we lost a few. Võibolla paar munad läks katki. I lost all my pride. Igal juhul mina kaotasin kõik oma uhkuse. And this is the trick of the slippery place in life. Ja on selline trikk elus, kui on libe koht. My father and I were following my mother who had the only umbrella. Ja mina ja mu isa me läksime emad järgi, kellel oli ainukesena viimavari. We were somewhere out in central Russia in a small village. We did not have any lights on the street. Kesk Venemaal, kus ei olnud tänavate tänava valgustus kuskil. There was also no asphalt. Ja ei olnud ka asfaltid. And it was raining. Ja sadas vihma. And when I say it was raining, ja kui ma ütlen, et sadas vihma, I don't think Brazil has seen a stronger rain. Siis ma ei usu, et Brasiilias on olnud tugevamalt viimavari. It was raining so hard. We were immediately soaked. And actually, I didn't tell the story right. My father and I had the second umbrella. We were following my mother and our house as best we could. We were following my mother and our house as best we could. And it was like this. Ja tee läks niimoodi. And we were trying to stay under the umbrella. Ja me üldasime selle viima võrgu. Aga me olime juba läbi märjad. And so when one of us slipped. Ja kui üks meist vibastus. The other one slipped also. Siis teine ka vibastus. And we started to laugh. Ja me hakkasime naeruma. Because it was so ridiculous. Sest see oli niimoodi naeru väärne. And fortunately we had a wonderful host. Aga õnneks meil oli väga hea. She gave us dry clothes. And she and her husband stayed up during the night while we were asleep. Moving our wet clothes closer to the fire. They were so kind. But I've had a few slippery moments. How about you? Mul on olnud paar libedat hetke elus. Kuidas sinu kaal? Kas sina oled kogenud libedus selle? Ma loodan, et kõik 
Horas. Um, in, the, in the Psalms, you have many of these chapters that are Psalms of lament, or they are a sad uh, cry out to God. They start out saying, Oh God, I'm in a lot of trouble right now. And uh, or they're asking questions that are difficult about life. But about halfway sometimes, or near the end, the psalm suddenly flips. And, uh, and David or the other psalmists will say something like, Nevertheless, and then the focus will switch to something positive. Ja siis see tähelepanu muutub millegi positiivselt. Let's take a look at Psalm chapter 18. Vaatame Psalm 18. And verse number 19 in the English, maybe 20 in the Estonian. Ja Eesti keeses piibes võib olla peale 18 Psalm 20. Come over just a bit. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. And, uh, and reading from verse 19, he brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. <laughs> Sorry. God, after some difficult time, brought this person out of the trouble into what he says is a broad place. Not a narrow place. Let's go a hundred psalms later to 118. And verse number 5. It says, I call on the Lord in distress. And the Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. Ja kirjas on kitsikuses, ma hüüdsin api isandat. Isand vastas mulle, asestas mind avarusse. I want to talk today about this subject. Ma tahan rääkida täna järgina teema. After the storm. Milleks on peale tormi. Amen. Would you one more time lift your hands with me and let's ask the Lord to speak to our hearts today. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your presence. We thank you that you brought us through storms. And that you will continue to keep us. And set us in a broad place. I pray, oh God, that you would speak to our hearts today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was in Christ. Praise God. Would you say Amen? Amen. 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 Praise God. After the storm. After the struggle. After the trial in your life. God is placing you in an expansive place. A wide open place. A place with broad opportunities. And broad potential. God delights in his children. And every person experiences storms. But with God, the storm in your life can take on meaning. And not just be meaningless and terrible. Because without God, storms are disillusioning. They, they can make us feel like life is meaningless and sometimes unbearable from stress from trouble, from uh, emotions, and from disappointment. I read an article recently from a uh, newspaper magazine, and it talked about, uh, the title just said this, Wealthy, Successful, and Miserable. <laughs> and uh, it said this the upper segment of society 
is gathering money and privilege like never before in history. Oob raha ja eesõiguseid nagu ei kunagi varem ajaloos. Or at least it hasn't been seen in decades. Või vähemalt seda ei ole nähtud sellisena kümnete aastate jooksul. That doesn't make them happy at work. Aga see ei tee need inimesi õnnelikuks tööd. And I'll just share one of the brief stories with you. Ja ma jagan ühe lühikese loo teega. The, uh, the writer of the article had gone back to a business school uh, 15 year anniversary. Selle uh, kirja uh, artikli uh, autor oli läinud tagasi ära. And he was surprised. Ja ta oli üllatunud. Because uh, what wasn't surprising is that many of his classmates were quite successful. Uh, ja mis uh, ei olnud üllatav oli see, et uh, paljud tema klassikaaslased ei olnud edukal olnud. But what was surprising was that they were miserable. Aga they were actually. They were. Vabandust, et siis mis ei olnud üllatav oli see, et paljud tema klassikaaslased olid olnud edukad, aga mis oli üllatav oli see, et nad olid õnnetud. They spoke about stress. Nad rääkisid stressis. They spoke about the kind of competition at work. Nad rääkisid selles, kuidas tööl on väga tihe konkurents. Co-workers were constantly undermining one another. Kus töökaastased pidevalt üritasid üksteiselt jalgu alga. Trying to grasp for the next promotion. Üritades saada järgnevalt edustamista. Ja teisi kõrvale lükata. And there was this pressure. Ja oli see rõhumine. And many of them were quite successful. Ja paljud neist olid väga edukad. One man talked about the difficulties and pressure of his work. Ja üks rääkis oma raskustest tööl. He had to do uh, something, uh, basically five things on Monday. And if he didn't finish them, ja ta rääkis, et ta pidi tegema viis asja esmaspäevale, kui ta valmis ei jõua, then he had to do six very difficult things on Tuesday to siis catch up. Ta peab tegema kuus väga rasket asja teisipäeval selleks, et valmis saada. He earned 1.2 million dollars a year. Ta teenis aastas 1,2 miljonit dollarit. But he hated his work. Aga ta pihkas oma tööd. And he hated his lifestyle. Ja pihkas oma elu. And the world's value measurement system Maailma väärtus innangute süsteem is meaningless without God. On tähendus, et ta kui selles ei ole juhu. You can reach for whatever you want to reach for in this world. Sa võid jõuda ükskõik milleni selles maailmas. And with hard work and a little bit of luck, you can be successful. Ja vaeva nähes ja pisut õnne omades sa võid olla edukas. But it will never satisfy you the way God satisfies. Nõnda nagu Jumal annab. Hallelujah! With God! God in your life. Jumalus ei võelus. There's a uh, there's a big contrast. Siis on selles väga suur erinev. Storms will still come. Tormid tulevad endiselt. But they can serve to demonstrate God's presence in your life. Aga nad on selleks, et näidata Jumala kohal olu sinu elus. And generosity in your life. Ja tema headus sinu elus. Hallelujah. Even during difficult times. Isegi rasketel aegadel. There's a contrast. On kontrast. Storms with God. Tormid koos Jumalaga can emphasize, they can serve to emphasize võivad olla selleks, et esile tuua his purpose in your life. Tema eesmärki sinu elus. They can bring into focus ja võivad tuua tähelepanu alla the good things head asjad and not merely the bad. Ja mitte ainult halva. Hallelujah! How many have been through a storm or two in your life? Kui paljud teist on läbi tormi läinud elus. And you had to cry out to God. Ja sa pidid hüüdma api jumala. Because there wasn't really anyone else that could help you. Sest ei olnud kedagi teist, kes oleks aidanud. And God reached out his hand. Ja jumal sirutus oma käega. And helped you. Ja aitas sinu. In a way that you couldn't do for yourself. Sellised viisil, et sa ei saanud ise seda. Hallelujah. If you've had that experience, one more time would you give praise to God. Kus on on olnud elus selline kogemus veel kord, anname tänu jumala. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence. Tänu sinu kohal oleks. Thank you for your power. Tänu sinu väes. Thank you for working miracles in our lives. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Even with God in our lives. We don't need to be immature about demanding things from God in our trouble. Lord, you better 
deliver me immediately. Jumal, parem oleks, kui sa kohe mind päästad. Or I won't believe that you love me. Või ma ei usu, et sa armastad mind. Or I'm gonna ignore you for a while. Või ma lihtsalt ignoreerid sind. What is that? God gave you the breath that you breathe to say those very words. Every good and perfect thing comes down from the Father of Light in whom there is no variableness or shadow of turning. Hallelujah! God can deliver. Hallelujah! But don't believe that He doesn't love you if He doesn't instantly do everything you want. Ära arva, ära usu, et ta ei armasta sind, kui Jumal ei tee hetkega kõike, mida sa tahaks. Be mature. Ole küps. As we hope for our children. Nagu me loodame oma laste puhul. Be patient. Ole kannatlik. That's a difficult one. See on raske. Endure some hardship. Pea vastu raskustes. But let God know that you trust Him. Aga anna teada Jumalale, et sa usaldad. And let him show you that he can take care of you even through the storm. Jumal võib ka anda hoort sinu kõrgides. And if you've never experienced God reaching into your storm ja kui sa ei ole kogenud, kuidas Jumal sivutus sinu nii tormis and doing a miracle for you like we just thanked God for. Ja teeb ime sinu jaoks nii nagu me oleme juba tänanud. I've come with a word of encouragement for you today. Ma olen tulnud täna Julgustus sõnaga sinu juurde. Jumal saab päästa. He does indeed care for you. Ja tõesti Jumal hoolib sinu. He sees where you are. Jumal näeb, kus sa oled. He understands what you're going through. Ja ta mõistab, millest sa läbi läheb. So put your trust in him. Ja siis pane oma usadus Jumalasse. And let him do something good in your life. Ja lase Jumalal midagi hea. Praise God. God never promises to take us out of every storm. Jumal ei ole kunagi meile lubanud, et ta võtab meid iga stormist välja. But he does promise us. Aga ta on lubanud that he will never leave us or forsake us. He will take care of us and you can put your trust in the almighty hands of God. He will never fail you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. He gives peace in the midst of storm. He clarifies our purpose in the middle of storms. God uses the process of storms in our lives. Not to destroy us, but to perfect us. To make you and me into better people. And God is not absent from your storm. And he's not against you because of your storm. And there's a difference in having God with you in the storm. Hallelujah. One more time, would you give thanks to the Lord? Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. That even in the midst of storms, we can put our hope safely in you. Hallelujah. Thank you for your care. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a contrast between living without God and living with God. Because you see, living with a purpose comes with automatic rewards. If you go to the book of Romans, chapter number 14, Verse number 17. It talks about what the kingdom of God really is about. After talking about other things. And it says, for the kingdom of God is. And then it says what it's not about. But it finishes with. Righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Aga lausa teises poolas öeldakse, et Jumal riik on õiglus ja rahu ja rõõm pühas vaimus. Hallelujah! Righteousness! Õiglus! Do you know that you cannot pay money for peace? Kas sa tead siin, et sa ei saa rahu eest maksta? I was listening to a podcast while I was driving this week. Ma kuulesin ühte saadet, kui ma... And I learned that the first city walls of the city of Vienna. Ja ma sain teada, et 
Viena linna esimesed müürid. They were built with the ransom money from England for their king Richard the Lionheart. Maksti raha eest kuningas Richard lõvisõdame kuningriigi Inglismaa lunastus raha eest. And many times countries sue for peace. And they're willing to pay the terms of peace. Ja paljud riigid on nõus maksma rahu eest, et saavutada rahu. And some individuals are blackmailed and they pay money just to get rid of the problem. Makstakse kinni või siis... Blackmail. Yeah, I don't know. People pay money trying to get rid of problems. Õsagi inimestele makstakse sellest, et nad kannaksid võib sellest, et probleeme poleks. You cannot pay for peace. Aga rahu eest ei ole võimalik maksta. It doesn't matter how much money you have. Ei ole oluline, kui võib palju sul rahu on. It doesn't matter if you are one of the richest people in the world. Ei ole oluline, kui võib palju sul rahu on, kas oled kõige rikka inimene maailmas, kui sa paned oma pea, Kodja peale, magama minnes. None of all of your wealth can give you peace. Siis kõik su rikkus ei saa sulle rahu. Peace comes from the kingdom of God. Rahu tuleb Jumala riigist. Peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Ja rõõb pühas vaimus. Hallelujah. In the book of Galatians. Galatia kirjas. The Apostle Paul writes to this church. Apostel Paulus kirjutab kogudusele. Churches in this region. Ja piirkonnas olevatele kogudustele. And he expands. This thought a little bit. In chapter five, and beginning in verse twenty-two. But the fruit of the spirit is love. Aga vaimu vili on armastus, joy, rõõm, peace, rahu, long suffering, big me, kindness, lahkus, goodness, heavens. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are the things that come automatically. Need on need asjad, mis tulevad kohe see. With the presence of God in your life. Jumala kohal oluga sinu elus. When you put yourself under God's authority. Kui sa paned ennast Jumala meele kanna alla. And you don't seek to live for your own selfishness. Ja ei otsi, et elada isekalt elu. But you follow and trust God. Vaid sa järgneb Jumalale, usaldades Jumalat. There are automatic benefits that come. Siis sellega tulevad kohesed kaasa. How many know what I'm talking about today? Head asjad. How many have experienced a little bit of God's goodness in your life? How many have experienced an actual miracle in your life? On kogenud imet oma elus. Has anybody experienced a healing in your body? Has God ever done something for you and answered a prayer? I'm so thankful that even in the storm, God is with us. And he's working for our good. The New Testament says all things work together for our good. Uues testamentis on kirjas, kõik asjad tulevad meile kasuks. On kutsutud Jumala eesmärgi põhja. If you don't know God's purpose in your life, kui sa ei tea Jumala eesmärgi oma elus, today is a good day to get hold of the purpose of God for you. Siis täna on hea päev. Haarata kinni Jumala eesmärgist oma elus. And pray and just say, Lord, I give myself to you. Ma annan ennast sul. I want to live for your purpose. Tahan elada sinu eesmärgi ime. Open my eyes and understand me. Oh, mu silmad ja mõistmine. To know your will for me. Et teada sinu tahe. Hallelujah, because there is a power. Sest selles on vägi. And there's a joy. Ja rõõm. And there's a peace. Ja rahu. That comes with the purpose of God. Mis tuleb Jumala eesmärgi. Hallelujah. My oldest son Christopher was reading in his Bible this morning. Mu vani poeg Christopher luges piibrit selomikult. And he exclaimed because he recognized what he was reading. Nii ta ütles välja, kõva ajal ka kuna ta tundis ära kirja koha. He's heard all his life many different scriptures. Ta on kuulnud kogu oma elu jooksul mitmed erinevaid kirja koha. But he was reading... Maybe for the first time, Psalm 23. Lukas, esimest korda Psalmi 23. I just want to remind you of what it says. Ja ma tahan tuletada meelde, mis seal kirjas on. Psalm 23. Psalmi 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verse 1 through verse 6. Psalmi 1 kuni 6. Issand on mu karjame, 
I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. How many need God to restore your soul? He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Kui ma aga kõniksin pimedas orus. I will fear no evil. Ei karda ma kurja. David lived about six miles, so a few more kilometers, let's say ten. David elas umbes kümme kilometri kaugusel. From this valley where he faced Goliath. Orus, kus ta seisis sinnitsi põhjatega. So only about ten kilometers from Bethlehem to this valley of Elah. Sellese... Ela orgu Betlemast on umbes kümme kilometri. You know the story. Te teate seda lugu. He stood there before a giant. Ta oled seisis seal hiiglase, hiiglases sõdalase ees. David didn't even have any armor. Ta oli olnud isegi mingit sõjarüüd seljas. All he had was five smooth stones. Kõik, mis ta avetil oli, oli viis jõekivi. And maybe he's thinking about this valley when he writes these words. Ja võibolla ta mõtles nende... I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness. And mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let me draw your attention to that last bit. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. Hallelujah. God is taking you from your storm. Into a broad place, a place of green pastures and still water. A place where your soul can be restored. A place of nourishment. With his goodness and his mercy. Following you. Forever. After the storm, the earth is cleansed and nourished. You know, in the strong winds like we've had recently, it, it, it loosens the root system. And it allows after the storm for a bit more growth. Lubab see taimedel kasvada deeper rohkem ja sügavamale. And so it is in the spirit. Ja vaimulikult on see samamoodi. You may have been shaken in your storm. Võibolla torm raputas sind. But God is going to let you build deeper roots because of the process. The air is clear and fresh. After the storm, it's time for growth. Hallelujah. He set me in a broad place. I don't know where you feel you are today. If you're experiencing perfect peace or perfect trouble, I don't know if you're experiencing a slippery place in the spirit or if God has already brought you through something. But I do know one thing. That every one of us need to remember that in the middle of the storm, God is for you. He is with you. And He has a purpose if you will trust Him and hold on to Him in the middle of your storm. You'll come out of your storm. Maybe you're out of a storm just now. 
Võib-olla sa oled juba välja tulnud. And God is putting you in a broad place. Ja Jumal asetab sinu avarasse paika. Rahuliku paika. A place of restoration and rest. Taastamise ja uhkamise paika. A place of spiritual transformation. Vaimuliku muutuse paika. And deep growth. Ja sügava kõik. I want to invite you today to just reach out to the Lord with me on this beautiful independent Sunday and ask the Lord to guide you and do His will in your life. Hallelujah. Would you stand with me today? We're going to have some wonderful refreshments that many of you have brought. Ja meil on seal pisut süüa, mis mida paljud teid kaasa. Ja ma invite you to stay. Ja ma kutsun sind, et sa jääksid siia. But right now, let's take a moment. Aga praegu võtame hetke. And let's just seek the face of the Lord. Ja võtsime Jumala palet. And just say, Lord. Ja võtname Isand. Here I am. Siin ma olen. I want to see your kingdom come and your will done in my life. I pray, Lord, that you would Build me. That you would help me to grow. And that you would bring your peace. Hallelujah. And your touch. And your power. In the name of Jesus Christ. In your own words, would you just talk to the Lord? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, we open our hearts to you. I pray, O oh God, that you would set us in a broad place today. That you would touch each one that's come here with troubles. That you would bring your perfect peace. And that you would restore us in our spirits. That you would refresh us. Hallelujah, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus and Christus and Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Go ahead and reach out to the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's just pray together. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus and Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, we need you. We hunger for you. Jesus, we seek you, O God. Jesus, we love you so much. We're so thankful for what you're doing in Jesus, we I pray, Lord, that you would let the sun break through the clouds in someone's life today. That you would encourage someone's heart and spirit. That you would lift us, O God. That you would bless in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That you would heal, that you would deliver. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I know I ask you to do this often, but would you take the hand of somebody near you if it's appropriate? Let's pray and ask the Lord to touch our neighbor. What's he gave you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your grace. We ask for your blessing on our brothers and sisters today. Sinu õnnistus pendunud ei õnne peale. Lead us and guide us. Noh, valu, lihtsalt juhata meid. Let me make up your spirit happen in our lives today. Kas sinu vaim liikuda meie elus täna? Let there be a change, O God. Kas ole muutus? I pray, Lord, that after the storm, Kas lihtsalt peale toru? There will be joy and growth. Hallelujah, the power of the Holy Spirit. Juhan valmu väes. In the name of Jesus and Jesus and Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, bless, oh God. We need to come here today. Strengthen us, oh God. Hallelujah. Heal and deliver in the name of Jesus Christ. Provide, oh Lord, for our needs. Watch over us, Lord. Put our trust and hope in you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless it, be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we praise God. As you continue to pray, I want to invite you if you've come here with a special need and you want prayer. Just to take a few steps and come to this front area. And I'll come.
come and pray and we'll gather together and pray in Jesus' name. Is there someone that has a need today? Is there someone that has a need in your life, or your family, or your health, or in your work? Hallelujah. Is there anyone that has a need today? Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's wonderful. Then let's pray for our families. Let's pray for our neighbors. And anyone that God puts on your heart. Let's ask the Lord to bless these wonderful people in our lives. Hallelujah. Just pray one more time with me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your presence and your touch. Lord, we pray for our friends and family and neighbors and co-workers and classmates. Lord, we're asking that you would minister to their needs and that you would let your light shine upon their lives and lives. That you would let the power of the Holy Spirit make a difference in their lives. Hallelujah. That you would bring your peace and your joy and all that you bring with you and that you would bless them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, I pray for each one that needs the baptism of your Holy Spirit. I pray for each one that needs baptism in water in Jesus. I pray that you would help each one of us to take the next step in our spiritual life. Let your will be done. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Would you just take a moment and give thanks to the Lord? Celebrate a little bit together. Independence Day to you. To your family. Amen. Let's pray for the uh, food that we're about to take. Father, we thank you for all of your goodness to us. We thank you for visiting with us today. We love you. We ask for your blessing on this food and on each one that's come here today. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And, and, and uh, have a wonderful week ahead. Amen. Amen.